After spending 10 days in Colombia, it was time for me to move on to my next destination. Peru. A short flight from Bogota brought us to our Airbnb, which had a beach view outside of Miraflores, an hour away from our arrival point. The view was breathtaking, and the cost of staying here for a night was only around $30. As we wandered around the neighborhood, we received warnings not to stray too far or attract attention, as there were chances of getting robbed. However, we weren't too much worried. Yeah, it's fun exploring the surroundings where we are staying. And it's a very, very silent neighborhood. The next day we figured out the bus system and made it to Miraflores, a surprisingly modern city that I didn't expect Peru to have. Initially, it was overwhelming to navigate the city, but it became less intimidating once we got the hang of it. I come from Paramaribo, so I tend to get overwhelmed in large cities. Wow, this is the city center of Peru, I think. Along the way we saw Arke Kennedy, the famous cat farm. Uh, let me get my bag ready. Wow! Wow, it's a really nice city, man. Before we go any further, I think I'm going to eat first. But I'm kind of craving for chicken because I've had nothing but carne for the past two weeks. So I really want to taste chicken right now. That was quite an adventure we had, taking a bus ride all the way from where we are, all the way to the city center of Lima, Miraflores. I think it's the most touristic neighborhood of Lima. Okay, let's see what's on the menu. We're at Pirico Koi. I think that is a traditional house. Household restaurant of Peru itself. I've been eating carne for the past two weeks, so chicken is so refreshing right now. I don't know if I should laugh or feel sad, but there's a menu here on the menu. La pobre, which means to the poor. To the poor, quite expensive. But that's what I'm getting. Something for the poor. What a way to insult me. So we are just favorite, the famous Inca Cola here in Peru. Salud! Wow, that's kind of good. It doesn't taste like cola. It tastes like something something really sugary it's like a cola check it out this is a meal for the poor our first stop was the famous Kennedy Park which is best known for having cats lazing around the park if you love cats, it's a pleasant experience to walk through the park. So I got my first encounter with these cats. Cats around the park in Kennedy. So it said that these cats were put here by their owners few, uh, way back before to take care of the rodent infestation. And they just took the park as their home. And the cats are being fed by the people visiting this park. <laughs> oh, that was a shy one. We have a black cat here. It's minding its own business. 
I also couldn't resist the urge to buy the so called chuyo. Yeah. <laughs> chuyo. Chuyo. I'm trying on the chuyo. Peru. Peru. Eh, amigo. <laughs> which was sold at an Incan market in Miraflores. The market sells Incan arts and crafts, and I had the time of my life shopping here. Help her! Help her! Oh, do you guys like my chuyo? Man, this looks so good. So the first thing I wanted to buy when I arrived here in the Indian market. The day. No. Okay. So we're at this really crazy barbarian bar. This is the first time I've been to in the bar like this. Oh, yeah. First time I'm trying tacos. I paid 35 soles for this. But to be honest, I don't even know what I ordered. Everything for the first time. How do you eat tacos? Let me see, what's this? How do you eat this? You eat it with two hands. Mm. Oh my god! This is really good. How's your burger, Joe? I haven't tasted my burger yet, but it looks pretty good. I didn't even know taco was tasted as good. Give me a detailed taste. You can eat open all food, that's a bit good. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. okay. Mm. I really can't tell you <laughs> what flavor it is. I'm going to ask the bartender what levers I got, but they're really good. After exploring the city, we took a 30 minute walk to the Central Comercial Larcomar, a large shopping center on a cliff that had all the world brands. I, well, we've made it at the Larcomar shopping center on the cliffside of the Pacific Ocean and it's everything that people are saying about it on the internet. This place is amazing in one simple word. You still have to look around how you get down there but here's the location when you can go paragliding. There are two paragliders now just beyond. Uh, paragliding costs around 80, 80 bucks. That's what I saw online. But yeah, let's take a closer look. There's an Under Armour shop on H&M. And the view is amazing. This is a very popular tourist destination. The prices were very high. It was an amazing shopping center with a great view. One activity I regret not doing was paragliding. If you are in Miraflores, I recommend not making the same mistake I did. Other activities include serving and a free city tour that you can book at almost every hostel. One interesting activity was the chocolate tour. I didn't know that Peru was crazy about chocolates. So Ian has this, this box. With samples, uh, a box with samples, and he's trying to get me high on chocolate to buy every bar. But I'm smart, I'm going to buy one bar. This is the bar I would like. This is the. Uh, 
78% cocoa chocolate. This one's a good one. Uh, how much is this one? I spend for Okay, 24 solid. Uh, so when visiting Lima, you can't miss the shop. Uh, it's a chocolate museum, so come and get your chocolates here. Really nice tour from Ian. Thanks for the tour. And I'll see you around. We ended our night taking the bus back to our apartment where we patiently planned for our next destination.